Hi, my name's Scott. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to terminate a Cat5 or Cat6 cable. So what you'll need is a pair of side cutters, your two RJ45 connectors, and an RJ45 crimper. So you want to grab your cable, and you want to strip off some of the sheath. So it will strip off about that much. So you can get a special tool to do this, or you can just use a pair of side cutters. So we'll just tidy it up, making sure not to nick the cable. And we'll just pull the string out of the way and we'll just cut that off as well. So what we want to do is untwist the pairs. Now we've got to get them in the right order. So it's very important we get them in the right order, otherwise it just won't work. Um, so there's two different standards. So there's T568A and T568B. You can't just go rainbow. So if you just wire up to the same color on either end of the cable um, and not follow those standards, it just won't work. Uh, on some short lengths, it may work but you'll have all sorts of um, data loss and things like that. So in this case, I'm gonna get them in the right order for T568A. So green, white, green. Orange, white, blue. Blue, white, orange, brown, white, brown. So you can see they're in order there. So what we want to do is we've got to straighten them out. So if we just hold them, if we wiggle them side to side, that tends to straighten them out. See they're there straight. Just double check they're in the right order. Now what we want to do, we want to put our connector just against the side. So we need this much of the cable to actually be in the connector. And this little bottom section here is where the sheath is going to be crimped onto. So we'll line it up and we'll say about that length is where we'll cut. And we're gonna make sure it's cut straight. If it's at an angle, it won't be terminated correctly and it just won't work. And we're going to get the clip facing towards the table and slide the connector on. 
give it a bit of a jiggle. Just double check they're all in the right order. And you want to make sure they're pushed all the way to the back of the connector. It's a little bit hard to see, but just all the way to the end. Making sure your sheath is also in there as well. So if we grab our crimper, insert the connector, make sure it's, it's all the way through, and then press down. Slide it back out. Now the teeth have bitten into the, the end of the connector and they've made it all the way to the end. And that's all there is to it. So repeat the same process on both sides, making sure to follow T568A or T568B, depending on the installation. The, in some cases, you can also have like a little rubber boot, uh, like a strain relief that you can slide over before you terminate the cable as well, um, just to give it that little bit of extra protection but the same process applies to cribbing the connector. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below.